Hey guys, this is Taylor with Body Temple System. I hope you're doing awesome today. And what I wanna talk about is willpower. And willpower is really cool and you definitely need it if you want to have any sort of success in your health, your wellness, losing weight, getting more lean, building toned muscle, uh, doing well at work. We need willpower for everything and we need to talk about how to develop more willpower so you can have more success. Because uh, willpower is not some majestic, intangible thing that we maybe, you know, we're just gifted with a certain amount of willpower, it's not something we can develop or not. It's not true, willpower through research has been shown that it is something you can develop and increase in. It's just like any other muscle. Uh, you know, your bicep today can maybe lift 100 pounds uh, but if you train it properly, it'll be able to lift 120 or 150. So we want to talk about how to develop willpower and strategies to having more willpower in our lives. So first of all, we want to talk about achievement and just success in anything. And there's three pieces to achievement. The first piece is motivation for change. Okay, You need to be motivated to make changes you can't be insane and keep doing the same thing over and over again expecting a different result okay motivation for change is you know the first part of achievement number two is monitored action okay actually having a plan month by month week by week day by day so that you're working towards your goal and what you're trying to achieve and you're monitoring it okay because if you're not you won't achieve success. It's just a fact. You need to know what you're doing every day that's moving you towards your goal. And, and the third part is willpower. You need to be able to use willpower. Now, what is willpower? The definition of willpower is our ability to delay gratification for an end result. Okay? The longer you can delay gratification for a better um, more abundant result is the practice of willpower. So we want to develop that muscle and we want to have a lot of willpower because it takes a lot of willpower to be successful in what we're trying to do, especially when we're talking about weight loss and getting in shape and having the body of your dreams because that means you're going to feel better and that means your relationships are going to be better and that means life is going to be better. So something we want to talk about first, ego depletion. So we actually have a fixed amount of willpower. And when we use that, it's called ego depletion. Okay, we're using up our willpower. It's not like you have X amount of willpower for your work life, X amount of willpower for your diet, and X amount of willpower for your relationships. No, you have a certain amount of willpower and if it's being used in one area, say you're using willpower to not look at the TV but to actually listen to your wife or listen to your husband who's talking, that's willpower. And if you're using it then, right, it's taking you away from your ability to have willpower with your diet and choose the chicken instead of the cupcake, okay? So different areas of your life when you're using willpower, it's depleting your willpower stores. And this, that, that's why we wanna be able to increase our willpower, okay? Stress is gonna deplete your willpower. If you're getting stress from work, relationships, moving, new roommate, new boyfriend, new girlfriend, just broke up, you got sick, all of that is stress and that's gonna deplete willpower, willpower, all right? Another one is actually choices, meaning if I put just two choices in front of you and say chicken or cupcake, you actually use less willpower to not pick the cupcake and choose the chicken than if I say chicken, cupcake, pizza that's actually gonna deplete more willpower if you have more choices. So something you can do there is simplify your life and when you have your goal that you're going after, let's say it's losing 20 pounds and you day by day you have to do five workouts a week, don't think of it like, well I can go to the gym or I can be on the couch and watch TV or I can go on a walk or I can go have a beer with my buddy don't give yourself choices. It's just gonna make your willpower depletion go away faster. Simplify it. I can go to the gym or I can stay home. 
Okay, so try and psych yourself out in that sense, but it's actually gonna help develop more willpower for you is when you minimize choices for yourself. Um, there's something called the Zygernik effect. Basically, when you decide you're gonna do something, uh, like you have a goal or you start a task to move towards a goal, if you, if you don't complete the task, that task continues to pop up in your head. Okay, that's called the Zygernik effect. So that's not good, right? We're basically getting haunted by the things we didn't finish. And that's depleting our willpower, is that Zygernik effect. Um, and the only thing that takes away the Zygernik effect is making plans. Okay, making plans cease the Zygernik effect. What I mean is, um, you know, say you, uh, your goal is to lose 10 pounds and you start thinking about what you're going to eat tomorrow, but then someone interrupts you as you're writing it down and you just keep thinking about what you're going to eat tomorrow and you, you know, it keeps popping up in your head and all of a sudden tomorrow comes and you didn't plan on what you're going to eat. And so you make, you know, choices that you normally wouldn't have and you don't have the same amount of willpower to make the right choices. So you'll have more willpower if you plan. Remember, we talked about achievement. You need to have monitored action. So you guys need to plan in order to have more willpower and get rid of the Zygernik effect, all right? Making plans, know what you're going to do tomorrow, complete a task. If a task takes less than two minutes, you should just do it right away. Uh, that's most efficient in terms of uh, focus and productivity, okay? Uh, next, this is very interesting guys, willpower depletes glucose and vice versa uh, when you have less glucose that's gonna affect willpower and you're gonna have less willpower, okay? Having more glucose you have more willpower. Does this mean to go eat a ton of cupcakes and cookies and things like that? Absolutely not. Oh, I'm gonna have more willpower if I you know, eat those cookies. Well, you won't. <laughs> uh, that's just gonna create a snowball effect. But what we're talking about is you can't keep yourself from having carbs, okay? The research study that was done that discovered this is they did some willpower um, studies and with choices and making decisions and studying someone's willpower uh, and delaying that gratification. And people practice more willpower when they had a soda 20 minutes before making a decision compared to no soda. Um, and they did this with a bunch of different other studies. But basically, it is true. You guys need to be having a certain amount of glucose, a certain amount of carbs in order to have more willpower. You just need to eat carbs deservingly. Okay, This is something I talk about in, in other videos and things. Don't take away carbs out of your diet completely. A lot of people out there say, don't do carbs, it's so bad. Uh, if you want to lose weight, just don't eat carbs. That's not true. You can have carbs. You can have a ton of carbs, actually. Still get shredded, still get lean, still look great. It's just about understanding your body type, understanding your activity, and knowing how your body reacts to the different types of carbs and timing them. Okay. So again, it's another discussion, but you guys need to eat carbs. It's going to give you more willpower. And then lastly, something called implementation intention. So... When you say, tomorrow I'm going to dot, 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 you fill in the blank. Tomorrow I'm going to run. I'm going to go on a run. You're going to be able to have more willpower when it comes to tomorrow to make the decision to run because you used implementation intention. Okay? More, the more often you can have this intention, the more willpower you'll have. So if tomorrow there's a holiday party and there's going to be cookies and you say, tomorrow I'm going to go to Susie Joe's party and I'm going to have one cookie. You will have more willpower to make the decision to only have one cookie when you go tomorrow compared to not making that intention at all. Okay? So practice implementation intention. Say what you're going to do and you'll have more willpower doing it. Okay? So I hope this makes sense, guys. Motivation for change, monitoring action, and willpower are the keys to achievement and success if you're wanting to lose weight, to look great, shred fat, build toned muscle. You need to be practicing and flexing this willpower muscle, okay? If you haven't done so already, you guys need to go to bodytemplesystem.com and just sign up for one of our free strategy calls, okay? We do free strategy sessions. We 
talk to you on the phone with one of us and we go over a strategy for you to implement to move and propel you faster towards your goals to look and feel awesome. So let us do that, okay? And again, it's been awesome uh, talking to you guys. I hope you got a lot out of it. And this is Taylor with Body Temple System. See ya.